The MPOW M30 and Samsung Galaxy Buds Live are two of the most talked about true wireless earbuds of 2020. In the red corner from China, weighing in at $30, the M30 from MPOW brings features and good sound quality to the masses at a low price. In the blue corner from Korea, weighing in at $140, the Galaxy Buds Live Beams from Samsung represent a premium brand whose acquisition of the historic Austrian headphone company AKG might give it professional audio credentials. Not a fair fight? Well, in today's sound demo, we'll listen live to a test of the sound quality of these two contenders. You can see and hear for yourself how David fares against Goliath right now. Welcome to GI Chow.
So let's get into the details, starting with the Galaxy Buds Live. These have an innovative design with good comfort and sound, if at a price. Their low profile design means one can sleep on one side on a pillow without them pressing too hard into one's ear. Also, the rounded design presents no edges to get snagged and one can get change with these in. While secure, I wouldn't feel comfortable using them in an environment where if they fell out they'd get lost or broken. Their expense is a factor in this. The earbud style means it sits in the outer ear, outside the ear canal. However, unusually for an earbud, it's able to reproduce sub bass, or at least an impression of it. For example, the rumble starting at 3 minutes 27 of Hans Zimmer's Why So Serious. They have a full range sound including sub bass energy, clear mids and vocals, and an energetic treble that is not sibilant or fatiguing. Initially they sounded very mediocre, however within an hour the sound had picked up. I'm not sure whether this is from burn-in, where the drivers loosen up through excursions, or my finding out how best to position them, or my brain simply adjusting to them. Certainly the sound quality and frequency response is very dependent on positioning. I started by positioning the earphone speak, which is in the lower part of the bud, so it fed sound directly into my ear canal, and then turning the buds well under 45 degrees, so they remain closer to the horizontal than the vertical. The active noise cancelling had little effect for me, and while my son noticed an effect purely passive noise isolation from any conventional earphones with right sized ear tips would likely be better. These also leak more than conventional buds with ear tips, though those around you will hear your music. Having said all this, if you don't like the feel of ear tips in your ear canal but don't want to completely sacrifice Dee's bass, then these are a good option. The mids and vocals are a little clearer and more detailed than those of the Empo M30, and the overall sound is on par with the Halo GT1 Plus. While the Samsung Wearables app offers a few equalisation presets, I only really use the normal or dynamic setting, which it seemed to default to. Soft seems to reduce treble for those sensitive to it, and clear focuses on vocals. This app updated the software and the earbuds themselves the first time I used it, and it looks like new features are being added from time to time. So in summary, well done Samsung, an innovative design with good sound and a comfortable and stylish design. So long as noise isolation, sound leakage, the comfortable rather than impactful bass presentation and sheer cost are not issues, these are certainly worth considering. Moving on to the M30, having seen reviews describing these as good but variously treble focused or recessed in the mids vocals, I was expecting simply a good value set of reliable and fair sounding earbuds. Even regardless of their price and the intrinsic limitations of the Bluetooth TWS format however, these do sound very good, well above my expectations and the more expensive consumer reference wired Apple EarPods, and just below the wired Samsung EHS64, though below the VE Monk Plus audiophile bargain wired earbuds, other than for bass and isolation where the M30 comfortably trumps those. Using my usual test tracks, these have a full impactful bass, clear and present mids and an energetic treble which while not the most resolving is neither sibilant nor bright. The bass does not fully extend to sub bass, however the overall bass energy is nonetheless very satisfying. The M30 has a more visceral bass than the Galaxy Buds Live which can add drama, they also appear woolly rather than tight, i.e. with a sharp attack and no artificially extended or resonant decay. Of course the vocals are not at the level of realism of audiophile references like the $300 Sennheiser HD600, but still very enjoyable and far more than acceptable for consumer audio. Putting this into the context of music, in Jump Around by House of Pain the bass kicks, in Why So Serious by Hans Zimmer the sub bass at 3 minutes 27 rumbles, in the Who's Babra O'Reilly, the dynamics and energy are moving. In Adele's Daydreamer, the vocals are clear, and in Getz and Gilberto's De Gil from Ipanema, the vocals, guitar, piano, sax and percussion are all captivating. The symbols in El Michel Affair's Shimmy Shimmy Ya lack some resolution, but has energy and shimmer. Surprisingly, there is even some sense of soundstage with sounds appearing to come from beyond one's ears, rather than being exclusively in one's head. There's no active noise cancellation, however with the large tips, in my case, the passive noise isolation from background sources, such as TV at normal volume, was perfectly fine. Perhaps using the wrong size tips may explain some of the other review findings about the sound quality. The sound was initially good, but did seem to improve over a couple of hours, 
which may be down to some driver burning as well as using the larger tips. Comfort wise these seem to effectively disappear and the wings that I thought would introduce some awareness of them are not noticeable at all. They are really no more intrusive than the Galaxy Beans and lighter to boot. Furthermore they stick out less than my old Samsung Galaxy Buds making them better for bedtime use. And I think these would effectively replace them except for the fact that the Galaxy Buds emit no light when the touch sensitive panels are touched and so disturb others slightly less. So far I haven't used them for calls, however having called myself on another line, the quality of both the receive call and my speech through the microphone were fine. There is no lag with YouTube when they work perfectly playing and pausing with one short touch on either bud. The touch configuration is different to my other TWS buds, but very convenient with a single long touch changing the volume and double touch skipping tracks. Even the status voice is a very pleasant female one, though the low battery warning did freak me out the first time I heard it. The battery life is great and I listened for the full 5 hours the first evening night I had them while enjoying my music but unsuccessfully trying to find some flaws with them. The multicolour light on the charging case is perfect, all the info you need to decide whether to charge them. It's a great job Empower. I bought these for £25 delivered using an Amazon voucher at which price they appear something of an audio bargain. Well there you go, few would have expected the underdog to have a chance but the fight was a lot closer than anyone could have imagined. Samsung with the Galaxy Buds Live have innovated a new earbud style that magically sits securely outside the ear canal like an old fashioned earbud but without causing irritation or affecting your awareness of the outside world. The bass never gets quite as impactful as that from a conventional earphone where the driver sits inside or against the ear canal and the touted noise cancelling is for some almost ineffective but much of the clarity and life of music and speech comes across. The MPOW M30 may not have innovated or excel in performance but it covers all the bass as well and absolutely shines in value for money. Its full spectrum sound and balanced tonality communicate the essence of your music even if the level of clarity falls behind the best on the market or even the best in its price class. It may not have won the fight, but this plucky character gave a good account of itself, winning a fair few rounds and fighting it through to the very end, with a knockdown or two, but no knockout. So in the end, the judges might have given the belt to the more established fighter for its finesse on points, but the M30 won their hearts and emerged as the people's champion. Certainly both contestants earned the respect of the other by the end of the fight and arguably there was no loser, only winners, especially for us consumers. So whether the differences are worth the price difference ultimately is of course your decision. And for those looking at wireless earbuds on a tighter budget, say under $20, check out my other videos. So folks, there you go. What do you think? Let everyone know in a comment below. And if you found this video useful, you can help others find it by liking or commenting or subscribing below. But for now, you all take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.